afternoon and welcome to London's Kitchen. Today's recipe is Sepolia de San Josep or also known as St. Joseph Pastry. Ito po yung pastry na ito is very known in Italy and they serve it on March 19 which is Father's Day in Italy. So ito na po ang mga ricado ng ating Sepolia de San Josep or also known as St. Joseph Pastry. For our custard, we need milk, egg yolks, 6 egg yolks, half cup of sugar, half cup of uh, corn starch, vanilla bean. If you don't have vanilla bean, you can use vanilla extract instead. But since I have vanilla bean, I prefer to use my vanilla beans. And then you need also 60 gram of butter. And for our dough, we need flour, water, five eggs, salt, and butter. For our uh, toppings, we need candied cherries and powdered sugar. So that's all our recipe for our Zeppole de San Josep or also known as St. Joseph pastry. First thing we're gonna do is our custard. So let's combine our egg yolks and then our sugar and our cornstarch. And then you mix this one para wala pong lumps ang inyong custard. So mix nyo lang po hanggang sa mawala yung lumps. Okay? So ayan na po. Wala na siyang lumps. And then we're gonna put half cup of our milk in this uh, butter. Half cup lang po. And the rest, we're gonna warm it. Just like that. And the rest of your milk, put it in your pot. And then you're gonna sear it. So you will warm you lang siya when you push siyang pakukuluan. again para mag-combine yung inyong milk and your sugar and custard. Madali lang po itong lutuin. Kapag vanilla extra gagamitin nyo po, um, you only need one teaspoon of vanilla extra. Or you can put more if you want it. Okay. Since vanilla bean ang gagamitin ko, I'm just gonna use half of the vanilla bean. And ilalagay natin the rest dito sa ating malagyan. I know but pure vanilla bean is really expensive. So, pwede po kayo gumamit ng vanilla extract na lang. Kung magamit po kayo ng vanilla bean, you make sure na kunin niyo po lahat ng laman ng inyong bean. So, here we go. Usually, po ang ginagamit ng Zipoli de San Josep is vanilla extract. But since I have vanilla beans, kaya ginamit ko po yung vanilla beans. Okay, so now our milk, I think it's for simmering now. Ayan na po, nag-simmer na po yung ating milk. It's not really boiling, pero warm na po siya. So make sure to slowly add with your egg mixture. Just to temper your egg para hindi po maluto yung inyong egg. There you go. Palutuin na natin ito. This custard is really yummy. Meanwhile, let's start making our dough. First, we're gonna put our water in our pot. And then our salt. And our butter. And then we're gonna bring this one into a boil. 
for adding our floor. Napakadali lang po nitong gawin at saka napakasarap po talaga nito. Magugustuhan po nito ng buong family nyo po kapag uh, sinisurve nyo po ito as a dessert o kaya pang snacks. So it's very simple to make. Medyo babusisi lang kaunti but super duper yummy po nito. Once our butter is melted, we can add our flour all at once. Ayan. So our butter is all melted. Lagay na po natin yung flour natin. Dahan-dahan lang po nang hindi po kayo mapaso. So halo nyo lang siya. Lower your heat into low para hindi po masunog. So after this, we're gonna transfer this one into our mixing bowl. Kagamit po tayo ng dough hook for this. Okay. So, lagay natin dito. Tapos, silagay ko yung ating dough hook. And then, turn na natin ang ating mixer. Make sure na bago natin ilagay yung ating eggs, yung inyong, um, flour mixture is medyo malamig na siya. Kasi kung hindi po, maluluto yung eggs nyo. A little longer than a few minutes later. We can add uh, eggs now, one at a time. Pag nag-a-add po kayo ng eggs, make sure nyo po na bago kayo mag-add uli ng isang egg, is fully combined na siya sa inyong mixture. Kasi kung hindi po, palpak, magiging palpak po inyong the pole de sandy step. Okay? So, lagay na po natin isang egg. First egg. It will take time po kasi five eggs ilalagay natin. Tapos, we always make sure na fully mix siya bago kayo maglagay ng another egg. Now our eggs fully combined. We can add the second eggs now. Go. Higher speed para po magmix po inyong eggs. Gamit po ako ng piping, ba piping bag at saka large tip na star. Ayan o, large tip yun siya. Papakita ko po sa inyo bakit ako gagamit ng piping bag mamaya. Kasi yung dough natin, ipapipe natin yun siya. Ito yung dough na hindi siya kagaya ng bread dough. Iba itong dough na ito. Always make sure to scrape the side para po mag-combine butter nyo. Kasi hindi po kayo pwede mag-add ng another egg kapag hindi to po nag-fully combine yung first na egg na nilagay nyo or second egg na nilagay nyo, okay? Now we can add our third egg na. Okay, fully combined na siya. Lagyan na natin yung fourth egg natin. Now, our fourth egg is fully combined. Pwede na po natin ilagay yung ating last eggs. Five minutes later. Dough is ready na. Really soft po siya na dough. Tsaka napakalagkit niya. So now, ita-transfer na po natin ito sa ating piping bags na may large uh, start tip. Okay? So, dahan-dahan lang po sa pag-transfer. So, 
dapat yung doyo po, ganito po yung texture ng inyong dough. Hindi siya masyadong basa at saka hindi siya masyadong dry. So, always make sure to put your egg one at a time and make sure it's fully combined before adding another egg. Adon lang po siya. Ganyan lang po siya. Pagka sa gitna. Tapos, kaikot. Much, much, much later. We're almost done. So, ito lang po natitira sa ating dough. So, gumawa po ako ng malaki at maliliit. So, ayan na po makikiitsura ng ating Sepole de San Giuseppe. So, ngayon, ibibake po natin ito sila sa 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, let's put them in the oven na. So, make sure po ilalagay niyo po sa middle rack itong inyong Sepole de San Giuseppe. Thirty minutes later. Tutu na po yung ating simple de San Jose. Puni na po natin sa oven. Wow! Ano yung mampo? So yummy! Kaya nandito po magiging cura nila pag tutu na po sila. Nandito po yung size nila di ba? Lumaki po sila. So now, palilagigin po natin ito ng probably 20 minutes bago po natin ilagay yung ating custard. Tapos malamig po talaga sila. So here's the rest. Ito po yung maliliit. Ayan. So while cooling them, we can uh, whip our custard na. I usually put uh, whipping cream kahit one-fourth lang. Pero kung ayaw nyo na po dagdagan ng whipping cream, okay lang din siya. So, whip lang po natin sa ganyan itong ating whipping cream. Okay. Ayan na po, nag-whip na, na po natin yung ating whipping cream. So, now, ilalagyan na po natin yung ating coaster. Ito po, napapa, itong whipping cream, nagpapalas siya ng sweetness sa inyong coaster. Ayaw yung po masyadong matamis yung whip. So, whip natin ulit. Hanggang sa mag-mix lang po talaga yung, yung whipping cream at saka yung poster nila. Okay, that is done. So, ayan na po magiging itsura ng ating custard filling. Now, ililipat po natin to sa ating piping bag. A few moments later, So, ngayon po, malamig na po yung ating sipule. Mag-a-assemble na po tayo. So, at saka yung ating coaster, nilagay ko na po sa ating piping bags. So, now, mag-assemble na po tayo ng ating sipule. This one is up. So, first, kuha po tayong isa. Tapos, atiin nyo siya sa gitna. Just like that. Okay. So, ganun po yung tsura niya sa loob. Dapat. Okay, so now, lagyan po natin ng custard filling sa loob. Just like that. Nasa sa inyo po kung gano'n po karami ang custard na ilalagay nyo. Tapos ilagay nyo yung top niya. So, gano'n nyo siya ang tsura niya. So, may um, custard siya sa loob. Okay? So, dagdagan nyo po kung gusto nyo po ng custard na mas marami yung custard. And then, we're gonna put some custard on the top. And then, we're gonna get a candied cherries. Wala po kayong makuha na candied cherries. Pwede po yung maraschino cherries. Parted sugar. Wow! 
焼肉絶好ね。三十歳。So para lang po kayo kumagawa ng cream puff with this recipe. Para hala lang po siya sa cream puff. Kaya lang ang cream puff is wala siyang candied cherries on top. Okay. And then our cherry. Wow. Second one. Tinglang po natin to lahat. Magutay ka kain. Yung asawa ko, hindi na po siya makapaghintay. So, sa recipe nito po, makakagawa kayo ng 12 pieces kung malalaki yung gagawin nyo. Pero kung maliliit naman po, mga more than 12 ang magagawa nyo po. A few moments later, Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for more videos and updates to come. Have a good night, everybody, and see ya!